Time for liberals to apologize. I'm Brian Lilly with the rebel.media. Do you remember last fall as the refugee rush was ramping up and those of us who had concerns about, say, security screening? We were smeared as racists by liberals all across the country, be it federal liberal cabinet ministers who would smear through innuendo or Ontario's liberal premier Kathleen Wynne, who was blatant in calling anyone that wanted to slow down, consider security issues to be just racists and bigots. It was so bad that Ujjal Dessange, former New Democrat and Premier of British Columbia and Liberal Cabinet Minister under Paul Martin, stood up and said, hey, wait a minute, you can't call us all racist for being concerned about security. But that was the Liberal mantra. If you were worried about security and the fact that the original Liberal plan didn't call for any security screening until people arrived in Canada, you were a racist, you were a bigot. Well, we won in the end by pushing the government to say, no, you've got to do security screening overseas. But those liberals that smeared the reputations of people like me, people like you, they never apologized. And I think it's time that they did. I want to point to the attack this week in Germany by an Afghan asylum seeker. That's right. Someone who showed up in Germany from Afghanistan claiming to be a refugee. He was a migrant wanting asylum in a Western country. And then he grabbed an axe and some knives and started hacking away at people on a train while yelling, Allah Akbar. Police say they found an ISIS type flag in his house and radical ideas of obviously were part of what drove him to do this. And this is a man that was welcomed into Germany last fall. He was being taken care of by the state and by the good people of Bavaria. He was being put up in a, in a foster home to look after him because he had arrived as an unaccompanied minor and he returned the favor by lashing out with an ax and knives on a train. Doesn't that say something about needing to have security screening? Now, Germany has a far different problem than Canada does. The people that are part of this mass migration, one of the biggest the world has ever seen, they can just walk into Germany. As soon as they hit the European Union soil, they can walk into Germany. Canada doesn't have that issue. To get here, these people have to get on a plane and fly to Canada. But if the government hadn't done their security screening overseas, if they'd done it when they arrived here, what could have happened? You would have just been scooping up people out of refugee camps or apartments and homes, as it turned out to be the case, in Beirut, in Ankara, Turkey, in Oman, Jordan, and flying them to Canada, dumping them out at CFB Trenton, and then saying, all right, who are you? Who knows who we would have brought in? Who knows what risk Canadians would have faced? Because we know from jurisprudence. We know from the way the courts operate, the way the system operates in Canada, that once these people arrived on Canadian soil, even if we had found a committed jihadist, an ISIS leader, a war criminal, someone who had tortured the very refugees Canada said it was trying to help, we couldn't have gotten rid of them. They would have had charter protections. They would have had court appeals going on for years to be able to stay in this country, all funded by you. That's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is they could have carried out some type of attack on a Canadian Air Force base. That was the plan. Fly people to a military base, keep them there for a while, and we'll screen them when they get here. Horrible idea, horrible plan, only stopped by public outcry, by public pressure from people like you. I say it's time that liberals far and wide across the country offer up an apology to the Canadians whose good names they smeared last year. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.